Hello everybody, it's Ben here, back from my holiday, and I was treated to a lovely little parcel from the guys over at Repro Labels. Uh, as you may or may not know, I absolutely love the Transformers Generation 30th Edition Springer. Uh, if you haven't already seen my review, shame, shame on you, I'll include a link above. Um, yes, I ordered these stickers as soon as I found out they were releasing them, because what can you do for a good figure to make it great? You can add repro labels. Yes, that's it. Um, yep, came through in a normal little envelope, and here they are. There's uh, some shiny, shiny goodness here. We all know that I like my silvery, chromey, shiny stuff. A bit like a magpie, aren't I? Right. Here they are applied in a bot mode. As you can see, they they really do make a good difference. Um, I, I do love the Springer mold. I think Hasbro have done such a good job with it. But Repro Labels have well, they've emphasised the bits that I like, um, and they've <laughs> they've taken the attention away from that garish yellow that uh, Hasbro included. Let's just have a look what they actually. Use. We've got these um, strips on the side, we've got these strips down here, we've got these sections just here and here, and uh, we've got something inside the arm, I'll show you that when we go to uh, vehicle mode. We've got these lovely shiny chrome strips along the sword, they are lovely, I do like those. You've got some little dots on here, I mean that's attention for detail isn't it? And you've got the sections on the feet, little dot there. And the inner wheels. I see. I love the uh, the inner wheels there. That is awesome. Truly, truly awesome. It really does just break up that horrible yellow. And there we have his Autobot Wrecker insignia. Now it do come with a few spares as well because some of these are very, very fiddly. And uh, wow, I lost a couple. So uh, <laughs> I used the spares. Let's have a look at the back. Then we can see the uh, metallic bits there. We've got the signs there, and there you can see the back of the uh, wheels. In helicopter mode, you can see the stickers a little bit easier. Um, as you can see them there, um, they go up to the intake, and you have the chase logo on the side there as well. You've got the hazard warnings. It's just a very good use of stickers really really emphasizing those shapes and curves of the jet uh, helicopter mode look at that <laughs> so good um see i don't know i know there's some of these are very very reminiscent of the generation one uh figure um do these resemble the idw um images from the comics i'm not entirely sure i mean i i do like the IDW comics, and I'm a huge fan of uh, like Last Stand of the Wreckers, etc. But I can't recall seeing many, you know, like like this, like the car mode of Springer or, or the helicopter mode. I can't recall him being seen in those modes uh, during the comics. Let's have a look. You've got the uh, number plates on the back here again with the uh, chase, and there are a couple of different number plates you can apply. There you see those hazard archers there. And you can see the grilled vents on the front of the car. See, I think I think it works a lot better in car mode than it did in helicopter mode. Don't get me wrong, helicopter mode looked really, really good, and you could definitely see what the stickers were, uh, what they were bringing out. But I think the car mode, ugh, I think it really does emphasise those wheel arches and the bonnet. Back to the bot mode. This is how he will be displayed and they have done a stonking job it's a very good set and for eleven dollars you cannot go wrong so click on the link below and follow it over to the guys at repro labels thanks for watching goodbye